Hey folks, welcome back again. This is just an impromptu video regarding a Cuban guava. So today I'm going to do something that was suggested by my neighbor. Uh, a Cuban guava or a guava fruit, in case those of you out there never knew, you can eat all of it. You can eat the peel, you can eat the seeds. Every single part of this is edible. So my neighbor, who has a guava tree that gave me my tree that I have out in front of my yard, she advised to blend the whole thing up with ice, maybe a little water, drizzle some honey in it, and then I'll run it through a sieve or a screen, and I'll drink it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have a little, this is kinda like a Ninja Bullet, a Nutri Bullet type thing, a little blender basically. And I have a small uh, part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this guava in it. Just drop it in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of crushed ice. So let's do that now. So I just get the crust, crushed ice out of my refrigerator here. It's cubed. Uh, let me go to crushed. We'll add about that much ice maybe. I don't know. This is the first time I'm doing it. So I'll add that much ice. So I'm only going to add just a little bit of water to it. So that's all the water I'm going to add. And now I'm going to blend it up. Okay, so I have the lid on tight. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the thing. And I got it plugged in and it might get loud. And you know what I just remembered? I forgot to add the most important ingredient. I didn't add the honey. Uh-oh. It's pink like bubble gum. The guava fruit, if nobody's have had guava, it tastes like bubble gum to me, I swear to God. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of uh, honey. That's maybe uh, two tablespoons or so. I gotta put some more water in there too. So I have a little jar here of water, let me add it. I don't wanna dilute the flavor too much and make it bland. So now let me blend it again. Okay, so it's a little better consistency here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to give it a little taste here just to see what it tastes like. Let's uh, check it out. The reason why you want to sift it is there are little hard pieces of the seed in there. But uh, as far as the flavor goes, boy, this is good. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. So good. My apologies for my messy eating. This beard, I know I haven't done any trimming yet. So please accept my apologies. I know my last video there in my gorilla gardening, I had a little bit of a smuts or whatever, like a little piece of a bread. That's just what happens. I guess it's like a napkin. It saves my food. And so I'm gonna have two meals instead of one. Just kidding. I'll get this all trimmed up nice and nice. It's growing in nicely. Uh, but thanks again, you guys. That was a fantastic drink. Uh, to my neighbor, Claudia. Thank you very much, Claudia, for recommending a great method on eating guava because i really love guava i can't wait until the tree that you gave me starts to fruit uh, guava to those of you who have not tried it buy some if you find a tropical store if you can order it just go ahead and buy the guava it's fantastic it's a really good sweet not overly sweet fruit uh, the fruit does soften up rather quickly after it's picked so you do have to consume it um, pretty quick before it spoils and this is a great way i tell you what you can freeze a guava and you could probably blend the whole thing and make these drinks. Man, it is so good. If you got some time, go ahead and Google guava fruit nutrition. And you can actually see exactly how good the guava is. I have no idea. I know I need to eat a little better. And if I can do it from the fruits and the vegetables that I grow in my own backyard, that'll make it a little more satisfying. So enough rambling. Thank you again for 
tuning in and I appreciate you watching my impromptu video. I hope to have some more foodie videos, maybe some more growing gardening videos here coming up. Uh, right now all my focus and effort and energy has been going into keeping up on top of those little furry fuzzy little Floridian honeybees. They're busy as a bee, I tell you, they move quick. So I'm going to try my best to um, at least do something, get something planted here. But have a great evening, you guys. Thanks again for tuning in.